All right, so we have Grace and Moby. That's Moby, that's Grace. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through five different positions of getting a winner's photo. And it, it happens to be the exact same thing that we teach for the finale. And uh, these five different positions are gonna help you in showing your dog and also going to give you an opportunity to have outstanding winner's photos. Now position number one is the hand stack. This is usually the position that most people avoid and the reason for that is because dogs get fidgety and they don't want you to touch them so people go to the free stack and then you go to get your winner's photo and the judge has just told everybody that you have the best dog in that breed and you got this line of people behind you and so that's where that pressure comes in and the dog says no you're not going to be able to make me stand so we're going to take you through some steps that are going to help you get past this where you can earn that respect and trust where your dogs will actually start stacking for you properly without fighting you okay now a lot of times it's easier to start off with a free stack because again you're not touching the dog you don't have to worry about the dog <clears throat> being overpowered by you. Okay, right. so we're gonna get Moby. Moby set up so he's lined up straight here. And we're going to get him into a nice free stack. And then once he's in the free stack, then we're gonna tell him stay. And then we're gonna grab the collar from below yes. and put him into the head straight position. If you have any questions about the head straight position, then you wanna see the video, the complete head straight video and that will show you how to do this step by step. Now we're grabbing him from underneath, which is making the throat free and clear, and it's putting, applying all the pressure on the back of the head. This is giving you the control of the dog right here. This is a position that you and the dog have to be comfortable with when you're gonna take those winner's photos, because when there's more pressure there, <laughs> you're gonna oh. get things like this. And don't worry about that. Laugh it off. These dogs are good. That was actually pretty good right there. These dogs are going to try to push your buttons. And how you react with that is how quickly you can recover from these things. So we're going to go back. We take him out of the situation, put him back in, tell him head straight, and then give straight. him a nice reward. Go ahead. Head straight. Yes. Good. Okay. Straight. Now, the next step, go we're going to put him on an unstable surface. And this is really? going to allow him to focus more on him being stable than fighting you with the head straight position. Okay, so let's get him to free stack with his front feet on the blue pad. If you want to move the blue pad to that spot, you can. Or do it there. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, now go ahead and do the head straight position. Don't worry about proper foot placement, proper anything proper on the dog. Don't worry about tails, if you have to have your tails up or expression on ears. At this I, point here, straight. the dog is learning something new. There's a little bit more pressure on them because you're telling them that you're in charge. So they may not give you all those things. Don't think about it, don't worry That's about straight. it. If they sit down, don't worry about that. All you wanna focus on is keeping that head straight. Now, once we get to this position here, we can put in a slight little twist to this, head and it's straight. the advanced head straight position. We still have the throat free and clear. There's no pressure on that throat. But now we're gonna come in with our left hand, and we're going to grab the chain, and it's a little bit more conventional, where you have a little bit more control of that head right there. And now you can present that head to the judge. So this is a great position that you're gonna be able to have when you're taking those winner's photo, uh, and the dog straight. is not going to Good. fight you. Head In straight. the beginning, they may fight you like this. Good. And then again, anytime you get into a situation where the dog is fighting you, go back to the basics, do the head straight position, and get them set so everything looks perfect. Head then straight. make sure you reward them and release them. Good. Yes, release. Good job. Good, yes. Okay, so that's position one. Position two, what we're gonna do for this is this is going cool. to be a free stack. And for the free stack, we wanna make sure that the foot, the feet are going forward. There, everything is in line with the body. When you are stacking the dog, you have the withers here. Okay. You go straight down, that's where your feet will be. 
your top Stay. line, then you come from the tip of the butt, go straight down. That's where the tip of your feet, rear feet should be right there. And then you're doing all this and showing the judge Stay. the dog is built perfectly and you don't even have to move any of those feet. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to free stack your dog right here for position two. So you're gonna have his front feet right on this line right there. Okay. Your body position is very important when you do this. You lean forward, you walk backwards, and stand up straight. Okay. When you stand up straight, you wanna make sure that your feet are straight. You wanna make sure your hips are straight, all the way up to your shoulders being straight, and your eyes are looking beyond the dog, not looking at the dog. And when you do this, they'll line right. up perfectly in front of you, just like right. that. Yes. Your body language is getting the dog to do everything there. Stay now, good. if you do what you normally see in the ring Stay. and twist your shoulders, separate yes. your hands, you're gonna notice that you're gonna lose focus in this dog. So I want you to do it like you typically see people do this in the ring. And watch the body language of this dog. Look at what happens. The dog twists. This is what, the way people normally do this. The foot placement is incorrect. The dog is not in line and you lose the focus. So this is why you do not want to free stack your dogs like you see other people doing in the ring. Okay, go ahead and release, release. him and reward him. Yes. Get it. Now, oh. how do we get these dogs to do these beautiful stacks? Well, we work with them in different environments. The first thing we're gonna do is let's come bring this dog around, get him to free stack with his front feet on that, pot, on that pad right there. Good, good. And we can move back and forth and okay. that allows that pressure on that pad to really build and strengthen this body core. And you'll see muscles flexing on the rear, on the flanks, throughout the entire dog, on the shoulders, and that's building very, very strong core muscles to have beautiful stacks right there. Then we can start to yes. work a little bit more. Go ahead and reward and release. Yes, release. And now we're gonna do a couple of objects. We're gonna get him to have his rear here and his front on the blue pad. Be directly in front of the dog, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. Good. Yes. When you do this, you will not normally get a dog to, to do it correctly in the beginning. Sometimes you'll have refusals. And that's because the dog doesn't respect or yes. trust you enough to actually do this yet. But over a period of time where you make it fun, you don't put a lot of pressure. Your body is communicating and telling the dog to do exactly okay. what you want it to do. The dog will start to respond to this. And if you make it fun like this, when you get ready to go do those beautiful stacks at okay. the show, the dog will look fantastic. Okay, so let's switch this around a little bit. Yes. Okay, this time we're gonna face this way and we're gonna put our front pads on those obstacles there. <laughs> she gets directly in front, leans forward, walk backwards, and stand. By being in front of your dog, you have more control of the dog that way. Your body language is very important here. Now, if we want to shift his rear. Yes, good. Yeah, we want to shift his rear pointing yes. that direction. We start at the head. What we want to do is whatever direction we want the dog to go, then we turn yes. our head. So if we want okay. the dog to go ahead and turn your head to the right. Okay. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Stay. It's amazing how much these dogs are in tune to what our Good. body does. And look what happened. He actually put his rear Stay. over to that side. Good. And he did this with just a look of the head over to the right. Now, anytime you're working with a dog here, if you want ah. to manipulate what the dog's body is doing, you start with the head, then you go to the shoulders, turning this to the right, and you can see that dog starting to turn its body, and then it comes down to the hips, the knees, and then the feet. So if you want to turn that dog, start from here, and then you fine tune with your hand position, Ooh. but use your entire body yes. to make these turns. Cool. And you can see how effective it was with that dog. Stay. Okay, let's go ahead and release, release. And, and reward. Yes. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you a little exercise that's going to allow you to work with the dog and getting good muscle tone and also um, when you go with something a little bit more difficult like this, it really fine tunes your communication with your body and your dog and shows you where that respect and trust level is too. All right, so let's get his rear. You're gonna go ahead and walk him into a free stack. I want his front feet on the blue pad. I want his rear feet on the gray pad. Keep your body straight. You lean forward, walk backwards, stand up when you want him to stop. Very nice. Very yes. nice. Good. Good. Now, once you've got him on these balancing pads here, this is where the conditioning Stay. really starts to take place. If you look closely, you'll see muscles Stay. trembling, you'll see muscles tightening, and what you're doing is you're strengthening yeah. the front, Stay. the rear, the body core, and this is going to really create some nice solid stacks and also make it so your dogs are not fidgeting when they're in a stack mm -hmm. position. This will help you tremendously with getting great uh, winner's photos because your dogs will be put into place and they'll be comfortable standing still. Good. Great job. Okay, release and reward. Yes. release. Okay, now we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna step it up a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult. Let's go ahead and remove the blue pad and let's bring the yellow pods over. And so we'll get it set up so he can put his front feet on the yellow pods. He's not going to get as much exercise on the front with this, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And also sometimes you'll find that the dogs will refuse to do this. And when you get those refusals, that's something you need to work on with respect and trust to work through that. Okay. Very nice. And nice and slowly get him to walk onto the front. Good. Very nice. Yes. Come on. Very Come on. nice. Cool. Very nice. Okay, now if you lean your body, there you yes. go. Yes. See, Good. All, everything is done with fine tuning Good. with this body language here. When you stand up, you're telling your dog to stay. He wanted to put that foot on that yellow pod, uh -uh. but he didn't because her body was saying, stay where you're at. But as soon as she leaned forward a little bit, then that gave him the permission to step forward. So if the dogs aren't doing what you want them to do, it may not be the dog. It may be yes. what your body is saying. Stay. So be aware of how your feet are pointed. Be aware of what your knees are doing, what your hips are doing, what your shoulders are doing, what your hands are saying, and remove eye contact from this exercise. Because once you establish eye contact with the dog, they ignore all the other things that are going on with your body. You've got to keep those eyes beyond the dog so they're more aware of what your body is telling them to do. And this right here is great practice for getting the best winner's photos out of anybody in your breed. Okay, reward yes. and release. Yes, release. Good release. job. Okay, so right release. here in front of this pad, so right in here, I want you to give me a nice solid free stack and let's see what this looks like right here. Very nice. Beautiful, Good. beautiful. Good. Good. Okay, release and reward. Yes, release. Okay, so that was position one, position two, position three. Go ahead and give me a position three. A position three is going to be a, you've got all the dogs lined up in the group and the judge hasn't seen what they want. So you're going to put a little twist on a free stack. You're gonna get the dog to stand there and then you're gonna step away from the situation. Stay. You're gonna throw a piece of bait directly Stay. in front of the dog in line, and you're gonna stand off and the dog is gonna look at that bait. Look at how gorgeous that is. Then you give a release command. Release, get it. And you let the dog get the bait. Good, very Good nice. Job. Now let's teach you all the elements to go into that particular okay. stack. And that is a great, great, position to use when you're getting a winner's photo taken. So the first thing we need to do is we need to teach the dog what stay means. We need to teach them when we say stay that they don't move a foot. And the way we're going to do this 
is we're going to use some really good food. I like to use the Northwest Naturals because I have not found a dog that doesn't like this stuff. Um, there's a lot of different varieties. We have chicken necks right here, actually freeze-dried chicken necks. We have turkey necks right here, complete whole freeze-dried turkey necks. We have chicken breasts. We have rabbit. We have green-lipped mussels. Okay. Oh, these are amazing. They don't smell good for me, but they're great for the dogs. We have freeze-dried shrimp and then wild-caught salmon. Um, there's a lot more than what you see right here, but if you're gonna do some good, solid training, you've got to give the dog something that they're really entices them. Moby, ooh, is this your favorite? Oh, he's like, I love the smell of that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bowl like this one here, and I've got his full attention as you can see. And I, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in this bowl, but I'm gonna let Grace do this because I want Grace to get her scent on this food. You want the dogs to know that this is your food, it's not their food. So you get your scent into that food right there. Then you're gonna go ahead and place it in the bowl, and you tell your dog to stay. Probably won't be here. Stay. And right, you start off with the dog being Stay. close, and then you give a release word that allows the dog to get the food. Release, get it. Good. Now, the way you're going to train your dog is you're going to double the distance and double the amount of time that they're waiting. Okay, so go ahead and get a few more treats. And just do a little bit of treat at a time, <laughs> otherwise your dog, then you have to work on a weight loss program. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and put that in the bowl. Uh -uh. Stay. Okay, now let's double his distance away from the bowl over here. Bop, bop, bop. Yay! Come here. Stay. Don't worry if they're sitting or standing at this point. It doesn't really make a difference. The main thing is we're teaching them to stay. We're doubling the amount of time, then we give a release command. Release! Get it! And then the dog gets that. You should be able to get to the point where you can walk around your house and this dog is on a stand stay or a sit stay and when you give that release command, you'll hear the dog hit that bowl. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do one last time with the bowl and this time you're going to stand off to the side like you would do inside the ring. Okay, so a little bit of treat, get your scent on there. It's real important that these dogs know who this belongs to. Good. Hey, hey. Where would you like him? Um, right, right here would be good. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Get him to stand. Stay. Good. Stay. Stay. And here Stay. you're teaching the dog that it doesn't make a difference where you're standing. Stay. But you also see the dog is not looking at the bowl where they need to where they need to look. So let's go ahead and release and give them a treat. Ready. Release. Get it. And we need to teach the second part of this exercise now. Okay. So for the second part is we want the dog to watch the treat. We want them to watch the bait. So what we're gonna do Go ahead. is we're gonna take some canned cheese. You can use peanut butter, you can use cheese, you know, anything that you want. And we're gonna flip Sweet. this bowl around. You can do this on a couple of different things. You can put it on a post, on a trash can. Uh, you put it on a wall, it's gonna be a little greasy on the wall. Um, we're just gonna simply flip this bowl around. And I want Grace to let him see you Squirt just a little bit on top of that bowl, and you're going to tell him to watch it. Now, this exercise, the goal is to let the dog really be intense uh -uh. in watching this treat. When he is intense, and you say the command, watch it, and you get that intensity, you release them quickly. And then you're going to try to build your distance away and your intensity longer, and then you release so now the dog knows stand, stay, watch it. Okay? Stay. 
ready. That's a lot of cheese there. It's got to watch Okay, so tell them watch it. Watch it. Watch. Yes, get it. You see how she quickly released him once he showed that intensity right there. Okay, now Uncle Eric's going to come into this one a little right. bit here. Good. Ready? We'll be. Stay. You let Good. them see the watch. cheese. Okay, now increase his distance away. Boop, like boop, put his front feet over on the where the red pad is at. Come here, Moby. Moby. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Hey, hey. Moby. Come. Good, good work. Good. Go. Good boy. Put a pool on your dog. Good. You can see that what Grace did is she put the treat right in front Yay. of his nose and got him to, to go over there. Ready. Okay, so you tell him to watch it. Watch it. Watch. Watch. Ready. Yes, get it. That was really nice. The intensity was there, the length of time was there, and you can practice with the stand stay, you can practice with the watch it, and then you put all that together and you're going to see us at the show this weekend where we're going to get some shots taken with one of the best photographers in the world, Randy Roberts, and you're going to see how all this training comes into play to, to create that beautiful winner's photo. Okay, now position four. Position four, you're looking for a little bit more focus. You're looking for arch of neck. You're looking for some things that you really want to create an intense photo to show off a beautiful outline of this dog. Okay, I want you to go ahead and get in this space here. He's facing that direction, and I want you to show position four. <clears throat> position four is a free stack, but now you're going to drop down. Good. And watch how she Go controls on. the angle of the head, the neck, Stay. and everything in this shot. Stay. You can really Whoa. change and move it. So let's pretend that the camera is your judge. So you want the dog's expression out there a little bit. Stay. There you go. Stay. Beautiful. So you can really change what you want in this look. Stay. Okay, now let's bring him back in line. It's really important that you have Go the ahead. nose and the tail in line with that spine. You'll get the best shot right there. But Go look ahead. at how beautiful that is. Okay, release and reward. Yes. Good. Release. All right. So you've just seen four different positions. The fifth position is more of a um, position that you would use to show the relationship, the bond between you and the dog. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get on the podium and we're going to have the dog in a sit stay and then the handler will get next to them holding that big giant rosette. We don't have the rosette, so we'll pretend. Hold up. Good. Sit. Stay. Nope. Sit. Stay. Okay. Now here you can actually throw the treat, throw the toy. Stay. Tell them stay. Watch it. Watch and you it. can look at the beautiful expression that she got Watch there. It. Or you can okay. use a puppy in the corner, too. <laughs> Watch All right, it. release Ready. and let your dog get the bait. Ready? Yes, get it. Fantastic. All right, so now you've seen five Great different job. positions. It, it takes some practice. But if you practice Good. these positions to get beautiful winner's photos, it's also going to help you in the ring, too. So position one is the hand stack. Position two, free stack. Position three, three quarters into the ring. Position four, you're down onto a knee. Now, if your breed doesn't allow you to drop down onto the knee like a Cavalier, you don't want to push that right Good. there. You might want to just yes. kind of kneel down a little bit to get a little bit lower to control that, especially if you have a shorter dog. If you have a dog with short legs and that dog is right underneath you when you're free stacking, you're not going to get a beautiful photo right there. So that's the other advantage of having a nice two meter or six foot lead is you can get away from your dog so you can get those perfect angles right there. And then finally, your fifth position where it's a nice casual, comfortable, or you can add anything else okay. you want. Use your own imagination. This is Eric Salas, Grace, Moby, and our amazing camera operator, Maddie. You'll see more of her later. And uh, we're getting ready to go to the show this weekend where we're going to introduce Randy Roberts into this whole thing to show the final product. All right. Cut. What?
Yeah, that's perfect. Okay.